the complete tree removal cost guide other factors so this video is a part two of the complete tree removal cost guide which goes through prices this goes through uh, other things that are going to add to price other than just the pure height and mass of the tree itself So number one, the, the biggest thing that is going to hurt you as far as price goes is the location of your tree on your property. If you have a look at this image, you will notice the yellow arrow points towards a tree in the front yard and the red arrow points to a very similar tree way up in the backyard. Now the tree at the front is going to cost you half price if not less than the tree in the backyard purely because uh, unless they have a uh, rear alley access or some kind of access that we can't see here it's going to be very difficult to take that tree down get everything out the front and mulched up in the back of the truck and uh, through the chipper and into the truck so what you're looking at here is time versus money it's going to take a lot more time you can't get the heavy machinery close it's going to take more manpower to physically move the tree from the backyard to the front so that kills your price uh, as far as saving money if you can somehow uh, if you do have a tree in the backyard and you can somehow get a uh, the heavy equipment closer maybe your neighbor has rear access uh, look at the neighbor on the right hand side in the white house maybe that's a rear driveway uh, maybe you can talk to them remove part of the the, uh, the boundary fence and get access that way that way the company or the tree service can back their truck all the way up and they've got a lot less drag um, a lot less dragging of the tree itself so that's going to save you a lot of money so number one is position or location on your property so the next one is access obviously that is uh, tied in with uh, the location on your property uh, again if you can get rear access that is going to help you um, a great deal uh, you can see on the right you've got easy large access to that tree uh, and on the left you can, you can see that there's uh, very small or poor access everything has to be carted by hand time of year uh, this one is a big one uh, it's got actually nothing to do with uh, how the tree looks that it's got less foliage uh, it's easy to see the tree uh, nothing like that at all what it has to do with is the cycles in the year uh, and how much demand tree services have in the winter months or the colder months as opposed to the warmer months in the warmer months uh, people are out in their yard uh, they notice that trees need trimming they like to do work outside um, that's when a lot of the work is that's when tree services are working flat out and uh, as a result because of just supply and demand uh, they do end up charging a lot more tree services are a small business and like plumbers and electricians the more work they have on the more they charge because if they're booked out a month in advance at the end of the day they don't really need your work they'll give you a higher price if they get the job and you're willing to wait perfect they'll take it uh, but they really won't start quoting decent prices until they've only got say a week in advance or less um, if you catch a company that's you know crying out for work you'll find they'll drop their prices 20 30 percent just to win your business just to keep their business ticking over so uh, time of year can be quite crucial uh, so if you can get it done in autumn or winter especially towards the end of winter uh, just before spring then you'll save yourself uh, quite a bit of money um, another one is obstacles uh, so it's similar to access but it, it more has to do with uh, how easily and quickly you can take the tree down so if you've got a tree uh, in say this yard you've got decking you've got all these pot plants everywhere you've got a barbecue uh, and let's imagine the trees just to the right and it's got a huge spread uh, as far as room to work um, it's gonna make things a lot harder imagine the ideal location being uh, in an, an open field where you could just drop the tree 
you get it on the ground easy as pie you could back all your equipment up and chip it straight into the back of your truck um, the more obstacles and things you put in the way uh, the more the guys have to dance around it you know lower branches around it uh, it all takes time it all adds to the headache of getting the tree down so uh, if you can assure the uh, tree service professional when it comes out to give you a quote or an estimate that all of this will be removed and they'll have a, a free run a clear space and great access uh, they're likely to charge you less money than if they just see a headache coming into a, a very cluttered yard so other things uh, can include with obstacles is a home if a tree is overhanging the house obviously there's nothing you can do about that but that will add to price because it's going to take longer um, to piece by piece get the tree away from the house the same goes with sheds fences uh, power lines uh, and obviously pot plants garden hoses and lawn is the last one if you've got a, a beautiful lawn and you do care about it uh, not getting any divots in it uh, it means the tree is going to come down a lot slower so uh, it's probably better to sacrifice your lawn and, and spread a bit of topsoil uh, when the guys are done rather than telling them to be careful it's just going to end up costing you more money so I hope this video helps um, a good video to watch after this one is how to save uh, huge money on tree removal there's a few other little tips in there that is gonna that is gonna save you quite a bit of money so be sure to watch that um, I'm Ben and best of luck with your tree job